Very exciting. Morning, Sharon. Are you there up in the Dales? Good morning. I am. I'm so excited. Look, look, look. Emma Dale. <laughs> I'm really excited because we've got the three new newcomers who are joining the soap this week. So we've got Jake Roche, we've got the lovely Natalie Anderson, and we've got the legend that is Pauline Quirk, who's going to be Jackson's mum. We're going to meet them all later. Okay, excellent. Introduction to the new cast then from yeah. Sharon, live via satellite from Emmerdale. And Dan Have you ever been to Emmerdale? I haven't ever been to Emmerdale. No. It looks lovely though, we're doesn't gonna, it? We're going to transport you now. I mean, a lot of people, you know, obviously you're used to watching Emmerdale in the evenings, but uh, remember when it started? 1972. Emmerdale. It took. Farm. Well, it, was, it was sometime in the 80s before it transferred from lunchtime, lunchtime until the it? evenings. Yeah. Now, of course, it is an institution live now to Sharon Marshall. New cast members. Sharon will tell us more about who's arriving and what is going on. I bet on. she's in the pub. Are you <laughs> in the pub? Oh, no. I'm almost in the pub. I'm trying to, but it was shut. Instead, I'm with our newest heartthrob of Emmerdale. I've embarrassed him already. Yes. We saw him last night as Isaac, the gorgeous Jake Roach. You came zooming into the village on a motorbike to steal the heart of young Hannah Barton. It's got to be a dream job for a 17-year-old boy, that. Yes, it? absolutely. Um, it was actually just shot right here where I came zooming past. But, um, yes, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. And you, I know that you're a massive Emmerdale fan. Yes. You've actually auditioned quite a few times, haven't you, before you got this dream job? Yes. Um, <clears throat> I auditioned for the, uh, Danny Miller's part of Aaron. Uh, didn't get it. Uh, went for Adam Barton's part. Uh, didn't get that one. Missed out on that one. Uh, and then I, I went to Gavin Blythe's house, the producer, and begged him <laughs> on his front door. And was like, let me in, give me a part, and I'm here. I'm, Yay! I'm finally here, yeah. So you would have started filming, what, about six weeks ago? Yes, yes, and it's, uh, it's all seemed to be going 100 miles per hour. It's all going so quick. And your first day's filming, what, what was that like? <laughs> uh, it, was, um, it was quite interesting. It was a, it's a, bit of a kiss. It's a bit of a kissing scene on my first day. So I was thrown straight in the deep end, and uh, yeah, but it was... It was amazing, it was good fun. So it's a kiss with Hannah. So of course you're going to be embroiled with the Barton family. I but am, yes. Holly's going to be going off having all her drug problems. Yes. And but you're going to go for the good girl in the Barton family. I am, yes. I'm going for the I'm going for the one with brains. That's that's, <laughs> that's Isaac through and through, yeah. Excellent. Well I've got to say, I mean you you always we sort of feel like we know you because you have got a bit of a showbiz family, oh, haven't you? Yeah, Which might yes. explain why he looks a little bit familiar. Who's dad? Uh, my dad is Bruce Forsyth. No, uh, <laughs> my dad is uh, Shane Ritchie, uh, plays Alfie Moon in EastEnders, and my mother is Colleen Nolan, which is uh, a bit embarrassing for you, the stuff she says on Loose Swimming, but... Well, yeah. it's funny you mention that, because we do have a clip of her in action on Loose oh, Swimming, brilliant. being a bit embarrassing. Ah, Don't brilliant. worry, it's not the one about the tape. Oh. Let's have a look. <laughs> do you know what Jake does? What? He spends his life going... Mom, be careful that car's brake. So, of course, then I go, ooh, ah. And then when I'm reversing, you know, you're reversing like this. You go like that in the car, in the front. <gasps> and go. So I go, oh my God, I've hit something. <laughs> and he goes. <laughs> no, she's done worse, hasn't she? Yeah. Mm. Wouldn't be embarrassing if she was here today, just to really wind you up. Yeah. Colleen? Yeah, you... no, no, we no. haven't, don't worry. <laughs> we wouldn't do that to you. We have no. got an email from her, though. Have uh, you? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Okay. From Mum. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Dear Jake. Okay. Or should I say Isaac there now? There we go. There we go. Just want to, it was so sweet actually. Just want you to know how proud of you that I am. Oh. It's so weird to see my baby boy up there on the screen. Don't, I'm blushing, no. <laughs> and she says, keep doing what you're doing, follow your dreams, work hard, always be nice to everyone. That's covered to letters underlined. And remember, no matter what, I love you with all my heart. And that's mum, and she says, sorry to embarrass you, but I'm your mum, and that's my job. That kiss, is a job. Kiss, 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 kiss,
I'm a little bit starstruck. <laughs> I have to admit, Pauline Quirk, I absolutely love you. Oh, stop. And I'm so excited because you're going to be joining Emmerdale. It's tomorrow night. Yes, tomorrow night's the big one. And yes. you're coming in. It's Jackson's mum, aren't right. you? I Hazel. come in as Hazel, yes. Tell she's, me a little bit about her. Well, she's a larger than life character. She's very loud. Um, you certainly know when she's in a room. She's one of those types of people. Um, she adores Jackson. And uh, so we'll see where the storyline goes. But at the moment, I'm just loving it. Ah, oh, well, we're gonna, we've actually sat here deliberately because this is outside your new home. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I can't imagine coming here to work every day. I was going to oh, say lovely. that for your first day at work. You must have been, I mean, I'm like a little, a little you know, child running around here. What's it like? Well, my, fir my very first day was actually here in the village. And when I saw the wool pack, I started crying because Emmerdale Farm, as it was called then, was, was my mum's favourite program. So that was a little bit sad seeing the wool pack. But so my first day was, was here in the village. And then my second day was actually in the wool pack in the studio. And I was a little bit nervous then. But um, hopefully I'm getting, I'm getting all right with Fitness. Are you a bit starstruck with the other cast members in the I green know, room? I know, I know. And also because I'm desperately trying not to say their character names, you know, because it's just a bit rude. Everyone's been lovely, but I'm determined not to say their character names. But they've all been so nice to me. I'm having such a lovely time. Oh, well, can we see a little bit of you in action? Oh, if you must. This is from must. tomorrow night, Jackson's mum. <laughs> this will do for me, it will. <sighs> Absolutely gorgeous round here. Dead as a door knocker, I'd imagine. But I said to myself, I said, Hazel, nothing wrong with that. Bit of peace and quiet's all right in small doses. <laughs> Not like your dad. <laughs> oh my God, what a wreck. You uh, remember me, Mum? Oh, I do. Good job I've seen you scrubbed up. I wouldn't have known how handsome you are under all that filth. It'd be like, oh, really pleased to meet you. Then as soon as your back was turned, it'd be, you could do a lot better. <laughs> Only joking. Say it to the face, that's my motto. You know, it's not going to be peace and quiet here. <laughs> she doesn't come up for air, does she? Once, <laughs> once I start, and one of the directors did say to me, all oh, the other actors will be pleased and they've got you in the scene because I have so much dialogue, she just goes on and on and on. <laughs> Now she is going to be, there is, a, we can't say too much because we can't tease it, we can tease a little bit about what happens, but there is a cataclysmic event, isn't there, that means she's going to stay. Uh, yeah, further on down the storyline, I mean, it's, there's, a, there's a whole story that involves Aaron and Jackson and Hazel and uh, suffice to say, there's certainly not a lot of laughs um, when, when the event happens, so, um, so we've got that coming up in a couple of weeks now, but it's not me being coy about the storyline, so it's, I, I really don't want to spot it for viewers but um I'm, I'm so busy trying to learn what i'm doing at the moment that I, I can't remember what's happening in a couple of weeks time to be honest but as i say that is going to be fairly traumatic oh there's going to be a weepy oh no yeah, yeah it's very oh, no. sad very sad i tell you what the character there she is funny she reminds me a little bit of Sharon, I have to say. Yeah. Uh, Sharon Theodopoulopoulos. I absolutely You're one of the few her. people that can say that, I've been practicing well done. all night, but she does remind me a little yeah, bit of Yeah, as I say, she's very, very outgoing, very friendly, very bubbly, and I, I do come out with some really good one lines, some fantastic scripts on this. I've had some really, really funny scenes with lots of different characters. It's extremely well written. So, so yeah, there, there's quite a few similarities, except Hazel looks about... 20 years older than Sharon looked. No. Yeah, I'm getting on a bit now. But uh, Do you keep in touch with the girls much at all though? I, I, I spoke to lovely Linda literally just before I started up here. She's on holiday but she's going to drag herself out of London and come up and, and visit me up in, in Leeds and we're going to have a girly weekend. And I saw Leslie about, well I saw Leslie on telly the other morning but I saw Leslie just before Christmas. Funny you should say that because we might have somebody who wants a little chat with you. Over yeah. there. Yeah. And, it yeah. and it isn't me and Ruth, even though we love you and adore you incredibly. <laughs> Do you recognise uh, someone? She looks so well. Yeah. Oh, Paulie, I can't look at you without crying. I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. Cockney tart, favourite Cockney tart, the wooden spoon here. <laughs> Missing you. I can't believe you're going in Emmerdale. As soon as I see you, I start to cry. What? But Emmerdale, oh, my favourite no. soap. I should be watching tomorrow night, girl, and I hope you're loving oh, thanks, it. You look mate. as though you really are. God bless oh, you. Oh, thanks, oh. darling. You look terrific. So do you, and you don't look 20 years older. You look the same. We all look the same. I can't <laughs> believe you're this there. This is all colour. I'm in hairdressers having colour put on it every couple of weeks. Oh, it's lovely to see you, Liz. It's lovely to see you too. Oh, and if I get some time, I should come. Don't start. No. 
Uh, it, we uh, always do this as soon as we see each other. I don't know why. It's because nine years, 103 episodes, and we're all, there's something so close. <laughs> but I love you lots. Have an absolutely brilliant time. And I will be up to the desk because it's my favourite soap. Please, you're welcome anytime. God bless. Love to the kids. Yeah, and to yours, darling, and Good to luck, Steve. Good luck, Paul. Hope it goes well for you. Thank you very oh. much. Thank you. Thank you. Gosh. Oh. Oh, that was lovely. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's well. enough, darling. And we can't wait to see you on. You are fabulous. We're so looking oh, forward to it. Fingers crossed. As I hope I don't turn the viewers away in their millions. But um, I can only do best. What's not to love? <laughs> okay. a gay son in gay in the village, hey? <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you very Thank much, you, darling. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And there Bye -bye. you see that. Hello, Eamon. I'm just I'm trying to get us a pint in before we start. I can't believe it's locked. Nicola for you. It's not been the sense since Nicola and Jimmy took over. Anyway, I do a little bit of work to do because we have our last but by no means least newbie to meet in Emmerdale, the rather <laughs> gorgeous Natalie Anderson. Hello, Hello. darling. And we're going to meet you tonight, That's your so debut, funny. I know, <laughs> as Alicia. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about Alicia. Well, she's um, not one to mince her words, that's for sure. She's kind of quite hot-headed, very brassy, quite hardened as well. Um, quite different to Layla, I think. I think um, I'm very excited to see what the viewers think of her. Because you're, of course, going to be Layla's sister. Yes. And as we can see from a clip we've got here, an exclusive clip of tonight's episode and your very first debut, <laughs> there's, no, there's a little bit of bad blood between the sisters. Just a little bit. <laughs> Let's have a look at you in action. What can we get you? All right, sis. What are you here for? Something we need to sort out. Right, I'll get us a drink. Did you come up last night? Where are you, where are you staying? We moved to be here a few months back. When she got really bad. You didn't think to tell me? Oh, you'd have popped in, would you? Basket of muffins is an housewarming gift. Someone had to look out for her. Look, I won't be coming to the wake if that's what you're worried about. I know. Because you won't be coming to the funeral either. Right, yeah. first thing I'm going to say, madam, is the outfit. Skimpy. Yeah. <laughs> Skimpy, yeah, definitely. She's a fan of the, the mini skirt and the low cut top. <laughs> and the high heels. And actually, your very first scene was filmed just down the road there in Layla's shop, wasn't it? Yeah, and I nearly fell over. <laughs> it's really funny. You can kind of see that I'm struggling on the heels. <laughs> I was going to say, with shoes like that in the cobbles out here, <laughs> you are going to have to be a little bit careful. Yeah. But there is, we saw a little bit there, because of course it's their mother's funeral, isn't it? The sister's yeah. mother's funeral. And Alicia desperately is saying to Layla, you can't come. There is something happening there, isn't something it? Something bad has definitely happened and it, it should be quite intriguing for the viewers. Um, but yeah, Alicia is quite adamant that she doesn't want her there. And we'll kind of see how it unfolds over the next few months. So something is going to come out. So has, your past will always catch up with you. <laughs> Absolutely. Especially there's a bit of a scandal. But you yourself, you were saying your family, they're so excited because Emmerdale is your, so you are a Yorkshire lad. Absolutely, yeah. I've watched Emmerdale since I was about this high when I was used to be at my grandma's after school I always used to watch it and I mean we don't live very far from here anyway I only live kind of over the hill just up there driving right. every morning yeah. singing the theme tune singing the theme tune it. yes just as I'm coming through the hills and how's your mum she's having a party tonight I believe I think she's having a bit of a get together yes I'm not allowed to go because apparently I complain about everything <laughs> so I think it should be my mum and my grandma and some friends and stuff so they're really excited and like all my family are well I can't wait to see you so it's in tonight's every day we meet yes. her can't wait to find out what the secret is with Layla um, lovely to meet you Natalie and, and you. Um, best of luck thank you very much thank you